All right, I'm going to work on the uh, face today of the uh, warrior. The uh, gentleman and I both agree that it has to have his mouth open in some respects, uh, you know, yelling or in victory, whatever. Um, but... set on the right setting. Nope, that's the right setting. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is mount a, uh, a board to where I can put the, uh, cut the face off or, you know, the front part of the, the head off, put it on here and then sculpt the face actually here instead of on his head. Now I just got to arrange this so that I can put it at an angle so I can work on it. Time to play with some clay. Alright, the first thing I do is heat up my knife blade. And hopefully my armature doesn't interfere. Oh, it's not. How lucky am I? Good armature, Dave. And I've got on my phone faces in yelling mode so I can see how the face reacts. I'm going to stick that right there. Okay, now I need my Googles, <laughs> my goggles, to see what the heck I'm doing. All right, I'm not going to show everything I do, but... Uh, They've all got their eyes closed. I just got to work this out. I was watching another sculptor online. And he called this a raking tool, which I never thought of it that way. It's a wire tool. But yeah, you're basically raking the clay. The only way to keep the head the exact same proportion that you started out with is to cut the face off and work on it separately. I've done this several times in the past, especially when I had to do a portrait of somebody. All right, I'll be back uh, when I get a little further along. Sorry, I can't show you everything because I do cover this in several of my videos. But, anyway, we'll see what we can do here. I've cut the bottom jaw off, so I can adjust this upper lip. Put your finger in front of the flame, lemon. El stupido. Okay. <laughs> that hurt. I'm not going to put all the detail of teeth in, only because it's too small, 
and uh, they wouldn't come across right not for me anyway okay Now I got the uh, face getting there. Need to get some nostrils on them. That's too big. That's too small. Kind of like the three wolf, <laughs> three bears. <laughs> That's just right. screwed up his nose. Gotta be so careful, especially with the soft clay. Even though it's medium grade, it's still really soft and only takes a slight touch to knock out the shape. Now, I'll finish a lot of this face on the, on the uh, figure itself, but this is the major part of it, is just getting this part done. Now, I'm just about to the limit of what I can do today, because my eyes are going blurry <laughs> from working this small. talk about stressful this is stressful Oop.
Okay, it's time to put this on the face or on the head. Now I gotta figure out how to get this off without screwing it up. Uh, I got another knife on there. There we go. Carefully. Oh, that looks good. It's going to take some adjusting on the face itself. I may raise this face up just a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's going to have to do it for today. Tomorrow I'll adjust the face a little bit, and because uh, I gotta, I gotta work out the uh, wrinkles in his facial features because of the uh, movement of his jaw. But I'll do that tomorrow. I think I did pretty good for a day. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.